Hi, uh, my name is Colleen Boland, and I'm from a small village in New York State, in the United States. Um, I've been asked to uh, talk to you about uh, how we were able to ban fracking in New York and what we're doing in Argentina. Um, we were successful in New York because we used the tremendous amount of science that has now been uh, put together and compiled in a document that is now translated into Spanish, the Compendium on Harms of Fracking. We used the science to present that to our elected officials and also to go throughout our communities to church basements, to rotary clubs, to anyone who would listen to us to talk about the harms and risks of fracking, which there are many. There's risk to our air, our land, and, uh, and our water, which water is life, of course. So we use the science and we took it to our officials, we took it to our communities, and we also took it to the streets. Um, there was a lot of activism in New York. We, we were able to get large numbers of groups of people and create grassroots movements um, to take the science to the streets. And so it, in that regard, we were successful. Uh, so we have a ban on fracking in New York, but right now our battle continues because not only is there the process of fracking, uh, which is the drilling process that maybe uh, most people are most familiar with, but we also are now battling infrastructure, which are the pipelines that deliver gas from states that still allow fracking. So those pipelines, those compressor stations, those drilling waste sites are, are still within our state. So that's our new battle. And so that's, that's what our work is today. Um, we recognize that other than land and air and our water, it, 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 climate change is such a serious, serious problem and urgent crisis that we all face. Uh, the folks in, in Argentina face that, the folks in Belgium face that. To have an exchange of information, to discuss our successes that we've had in New York State and throughout the United States, and also to, to learn what's happening here because we are a global community and it's, it's so important to work together on all of these issues. So we hope to be able to, again, to talk about our successes uh, and to find ways that we can all work together uh, for the global community.